Yo, can you go from nothing to a knife just by buying and selling CS2 skins? Well, let's find out. So over a week ago after playing some CS, I got dropped this Kittlewood case which I sold on CS Float for $1.05. And after CS Float takes their 2% share, I got $1.03 which puts us at a decent start for this series. By the way, the links of the sites that I'll be using for this video will all be down in the description. Make sure to use them so that you don't click on any phishing links. Now after scrolling through CS Float, I was able to find this XM Seasons for only $1.00. And after a week, I sold it on Buff for $1.20. After Buffies, it gives me $1.17, which is a $0.17 cents profit for this video. Now, do note that it is a bit hard to cash out Buff Balance if you're not from Xi's territory. You will need to buy something from Buff and sell it on a site like CSGO Float or Skinport, which will take another 10 days. But I am too lazy for that, so let's just say that I sold the Buff Balance to an IRL friend, which now puts us at $1.20. Now, after about 20 minutes of looking through some sites to find some deals, I was able to find this Tech 9 re-entry for $1.15 on a site called Liskins, link is down in the description, which I was able to sell on Buff for $1.36, where Buff takes 4 cents, so that's $1.32, which is a $0.17 cents profit. Also, I was able to find another Tech 9 re-entry for $1.13, which I also sold on Buff for $1.32 after Buffies. By the way, for a disclaimer, if you will be doing this challenge from an actual dollar, this will take ages since every trade you do will take you at least 10 days to buy and sell because of the trade hold. So I started buying the skins even though I have not sold the last skin yet to save me from this agony. But anyway, this now puts us at $1.57. Now after scrolling through CSGO Float for about 20 minutes, I was able to find this MAC-10 Heat which I was able to get for $1.36. I was able to sell it for $2.06, which after Steam Tax gives me $2, which is a $0.64 cents profit, which is big for this video. Now, after finding this skin, I logged in BitSkins and scrolled through the CS2 market over there and was able to find this M4A1S Night Terror for $1.34. And a short while after this, I was able to find these two Negev terrains for $1.07 and $1.12 each, which I then was able to sell on buff for $1.48, which is a massive profit yet again. Now, before we move on, to help you guys out, I'll be giving away a field tested AK Empress in this video, and all you have to do is just like, subscribe, and comment down below which knife I should aim to get. After this, I was able to buy and sell this P250 Asim off for a quick 26 cents profit which was just enough to buy this AUG Sigmeed for $3.31 and after buffies that gives us now $3.65 which is really nice. Next up I was able to flip this Negev power loader on CS float for a 22 cents profit and after this I was able to find this really nice deal on this Nova on Bitskins which I bought for $3.72 and was able to sell it for around $4.84, which is a really nice deal. And lastly, I bought these two AK Emerald Pinstripes for $4.41, and was able to sell the both of them for $5. And this now puts your Steam balance to now $5.31, which is a massive profit from the $1 that we started. Now, I did get quite bored on scrolling through some marketplaces to find some nice deals. So the second way to profit that we will be doing for this video will be doing CS2 trade-ups. And in my six years of doing trade-ups, I personally find using the Steam market to be the best way to do it. So what I did was I bought four of these 9Z Team Glitters and one Souvenir CZ Nitro for a total of $5.27 and sold them all on Steam. So the 9Z Team Glitters cost about $1.95 on Steam and the CZ Nitro costs about $0.40 cents on Steam. So after Steam Tax, that gives me around $7.14, so that is a nice amount of balance to start with. Now the first trade-up that we will be doing will be this small spec stat track Dreams and Nightmare trade-up in where we will be using 10 of these skins. These are the Steam market prices by the way. So you can get them for around $0.29 to $0.30 cents each. And the most important thing about this trade-up is that you need to keep the average float to be below 0 0.0921. Now, I will show you guys how to do this later, but anyway, the total cost of this trade-up will right be around $3, 
And for the outcomes, for the M319 error and the USP, we get more than a $2.90 profit after Steam Tax, which is really, really nice. Then we will have around a 40% chance to lose around 20 to 30 cents, and also a 20% chance to lose $2, which will be a massive rip, so hopefully we don't hit that. Now here we are in game. I will show you guys later how I got the inputs for this trade up, but anyway, first attempt. Ooh, we got a loss. Second attempt, please give me either the F4 or the SP. Ooh, fuck. But at least it's not the GSG one. Next attempt, ya, yeah. yeet. Nice, we got the M4, holy shit. So we got really lucky in the end there by getting the M4A1, but then again, we had a 40% chance to profit in three attempts. So I guess it's not really that lucky. But anyway, those three trade-ups now puts our Steam balance to now $9.45 after Steam tax. Which is already very big considering that we only started from a kilowatt case drop. Now before we move on, let's hear a quick word from the sponsor of this video. Are you looking for low float skins for your trade-ups? Well, I just found this low float skin for the Sprint Stream trade-up easily on Skins Monkey. So Skins Monkey is a site where you can trade your skins safely and easily to get those nasty CS2 skins. And for you guys, Skins Monkey and I are giving out a free $5 on your first trade if you put in my code else. They're also giving away a bunch of free skins and using my code, you can get a 35% bonus on your deposits. So make sure you check them out link is in the description. But anyway, if you want to do the trade up like I did in here, all you have to do is first download the CSGO Float Market Checker Chrome extension. This is so that you can see the floats of the listings in the Steam Market. Now what I did is just go to the Steam Community Market, then click CS2 and then show advanced options. In the collections, choose Dreams and Nightmare, then Minimal Wear, Statrack, and Millspec. Then just open up the skins that I mentioned before, change this number of listings from 10 to 100, then just try to snipe skins with floats less than 0.0921 over here, refreshing it every 5 to 10 minutes. Additionally, you can also set up buy orders, then just sell the skins that you get that have floats higher than 0.0921. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the second trade-up. And for the second trade-up, we will be doing a Millspec Stat Shack Revolution trade-up. And we will be using any of these skins over here. So you can get them for anywhere around 34 to 38 cents each. And the average float of the 10 skins needs to be less than 0 0.0875. Now the total cost will somewhere be around $3.50 to $3.60. And for the outcomes, we get the $6.50 profit with the FRA ones. So this is the best outcome and hopefully we hit it. But we also get a $1.80 profit with the Glock Umbral Rabbit, then a 10 to 20 cents loss with the P90 Neo Queen and the Mac 10 Sakaku, and lastly a $2 loss with the Revolver Banana Cat. But anyway, the profitability of this trade up is insane. We will have a profitability of over 132%, which is very, very nice. Also, as an additional tip for this trade up, if you're finding it hard to get the average float to be below 0 0.0875, you can use 9 minimal wear and 1 factory new skin instead. But anyway, let's try these trade ups out. First attempt for this trade up, we got the Mac 10 Sakaku, which is the second worst outcome. Second attempt, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, that's big boys, holy shit. That's almost double our money, holy fuck. Okay, so we got the inputs for one more attempt for this trade up. Can we hit two in a row? Yeah. Yeet. Ah, nice! What the fuck? So we got insane luck over there hitting two in a row. And those trade ups now puts our Steam balance to now $19.23 after Steam tax, which is insane. Holy shit. Now, to test out the limits of our luck, let's try out this trade up for an AK Ice Cold. And for this trade up, we'll be using 10 field tested recall skins. So you can use any of these 5 skins over here and just make sure to get them for around 60 to 61 cents each. And also make sure that the average float is less than 0.1948. For the outcomes, we get more than a $4.44 profit with the AK, then an 18 cents loss with the P250 Visions, and a $2.84 loss with the Sod of Kislev. So the profitability of this trade-up isn't as high as the first two, but as long as you spam it, you will be getting some decent money with it. Now first attempt for this trade-up, can we get as lucky? Ooh, we got the break-even outcome, but at least it's not a sawed-off, right? Second attempt, can we please get the AK Ice Cold in 3, 2, 1... Fuck, that's the worst outcome. So that is a very anticlimactic way to end this video. But as they say, always quit while you're ahead. So let's stop the video over here. And after computing my Steam balance, we now have a Steam balance of $16.21 after Steam tax. So we are getting closer to a knife. And if you want to see the best no risk trade ups of 2024, make sure to check out this video. And if we have only little money, here are the best $1 trade ups for 2024.